Alright, so the first step in fixing this pocket clip is going to be to get the clip off the knife. And it is a T6, so wish me luck. Here's to no stripped screw heads. They're in there with a vengeance. Okay, that one's going. One screw moving. Alright, so at this point you can see I've got one screw removed. The other screw is starting to strip, which is really irritating. But I'm going to get in there with the soldering iron and see if I can soften up whatever Loctite is on this thing. Alright, I've never done this before, so I'm hoping that's enough. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Yeah, it definitely got hot, but not maybe not hot enough, so let's heat it a little more here. I'm gonna have to order a new screw. Because <laughs> this one's getting shredded. Man, that's not when I move. I'm going to get a different tool. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back with a new tool here. Let's just see if we can get this guy to come out. This is really getting annoying. All right, got it. It's <laughs> irritating. That either had some Loctite or was in there way too tight. But we got it. Now I just need to order a, a new screw to replace this guy here. Yeah, it's definitely got, you see that it's got, there we go. All right, sorry for the jiggly camera, but you can see that they put some Loctite on that screw, and that's why it would not move. And now it's a little hard to see, but the head is kind of stripped out. I'm going to have to order a new uh, T6 screw for this clip to put it back on. This is the kind of thing that's sort of, sort of frustrating on a brand new knife. But I really love this, the design of this knife, so I think I'm going to be happy with it once I get it fixed. It's just annoying that I have to resort to these measures to get the clip off and fix this guy because it is just way too tight the way it is. Alright, so the next step is to get a vise in here, pad this thing and start bending it. Alright, here's something I want to show you on this clip and why it's so tight. You can see I've got it on a straight edge and the mating face of the clip where it attaches to the knife is on the left and then on the right you can see there's just a tiny bit of gap between the clip and the straight edge. Man, it's hard to get a good video here, but yeah, there we go. So the problem is that the clip actually is recessed into the knife in this little pocket. So, you know, when you get the, the clip recessed in here and then the contact point is down here, it's putting tension on it already. So I've got to tweak the the curve of that clip just a little bit to open it up. Okay, so everybody watching at home, I know this is not the right kind of tool. This is my shitty Harbor Freight drill press vise, and I got a couple of pieces of leather here that I'm just going to use to pad the jaws, and hopefully we can get this clamped in here. Actually, I think I'm going to center this up kind of in here like this. Make a little clip sandwich. And then clamp it. Yeah, all right. And now I can come in here and give this guy a little bit of encouragement to go in the direction I want. And 
Maybe I'll just check this against my straight edge. Did I move it at all? Maybe a bit. I don't want to overdo it and wreck it, so kind of slow going here. Hard to say. I think I'm making a little bit of progress, but not a lot. And like I said, I just, I'm just going gentle because the last thing I want to do is just tweak this beyond repair. It's a stout clip. I mean, it's it's a serious piece of metal. I'm going to put the screws in it temporarily and just see how that works. I don't want to make it sloppy loose. Alright, so I ended up <clears throat> taking the clip off and putting it back on a couple of times, test, testing it each time, and in the end you can see I ended up with a pretty good gap in between the clip and the handle because that clip is just so stiff. It has almost no spring to it. Like I'll show you trying to compress it here. It's, it takes a lot of force to get that guy to come back. So <clears throat> this may be looser than some people would like it, but for me, I don't need it to be, you know, clamped onto my pocket with a death grip. I just need it to hold it. Uh, I'm not going to be flying upside down. Um, just has to stay in my pocket and not tear up the hem of my pants. So I'm pretty happy with where I've got it now. Um, but man, way too tight. I was able to reuse the screws. This screw here is more chewed up than I would like, so I'm probably going to replace it. Um, but this other screw came out okay. I'll probably put some purple Loctite on these guys, which is the low strength thread locker, which probably is what should have been used here instead of whatever they did put on it. Um, the other thing I want to show you if I can is that those holes are almost kind of blind holes. Hard to see in there, but, but neither one of those screws will thread all the way through the liner. I think the backspacer is in the way of at least this this screw that was giving me trouble right there. Not that, that matters, but just if you're disassembling this knife. Um, yeah. Anyway, much happier with this now. It actually goes in my pocket, and I'm going to show that in a second. But, uh, ta-da. No marks on the pocket clip. Oh, here we go. So the other thing, I'm just going to show you, this is the leather after I got done bending the clip. So you can see it, even though this leather wasn't cased, it definitely uh, got tooled by the, the force I was putting on it to bend the clip and to clamp it in the vise. So, crazy. But uh, now it's workable. I just gotta make a lanyard for it and I'll be perfectly happy. It's a good looking little knife. Just wish this pocket clip had been thought out a little bit better. So after reshaping the pocket clip. Now it comes in and out of the pocket pretty easily. It's definitely much more practical than it was before. It may be looser than somebody else might like, but for me this is the right level of tension. I don't need a vice grip into my pocket, I just need it to not fall out. So the way it is now, it's in there pretty good. It's not going to go anywhere, but I can get it in and out of my pocket pretty easily, and it's not going to shred my pants, which is another you know, another plus.